Before kick-off at East End Park, there was a minute silence for former Hearts player Brian Whitaker, who died in a car crash at the weekend. The first half was virtually all one-way traffic, with Dunfermline on the back foot, as Hearts laid siege on the home defence, with Neil McCann on top form. Their first chance came as a result of Barnett's foul on the winger. McCann teed up Salvatore, whose shot was saved by Westwater, and Hamilton and Ritchie failed to convert the rebound. The pressure continued. Stefan Adam was next, heading past from Poynton's cross. The Dunfermline defence was struggling to cope. Adam was the provider this time, but Hamilton's flying header failed to find the target. Neil McCann continued to cause real problems. After Alan Moore lost possession, the Hearts winger found plenty of space for the run, but his shot was eventually disappointing. Westwater was called into action shortly after when Fulton's in-swinging corner was almost deflected in. Dunfermline at last began to threaten, and when the Hearts defence failed to clear properly, Curran sent in a cross, but Todd's header didn't trouble Rousset. Back at the other end, Neil McCann continued his one-man assault on Dunfermline. Another superb run and shot, and a great save by Ian Westwater. A troubled time for the Dunfermline management, but things were to change after the break. And from an early corner, top scorer Andy Smith headed just wide. Smith caused further problems soon after, and Rousset had to punch clear under pressure from Barnett. Hearts weren't about to give up though, and after a fine move involving McCann, Fulton and Adam, the Hearts winger was again denied by Westwater. And then, right at the end of the regulation 90 minutes, Stefan Adam broke through with the chance to win the tie. Westwater was again up to the task. Into extra time and then Fermlin hit back. Gilles Rousset only just scrambled away Andy Todd's volley. Dunfermline kept up the pressure and again only frantic defending by Rousset denied them. The goal finally came five minutes from the end. Westwater's long clearance was headed on by Bingham and Smith and Alan Moore volleyed home. Jim Jeffries urged on his men and McCann again came close. And then in the final minute, after another skillful run, McCann went down in the box after a challenge by Shields. Referee Mike McCurry waved away the penalty claims and Dunfermline clinched the semi-final place for the second year running.